There are so many different Pokemon games, but none of them where you can play as a gym leader. Have you ever wanted to play Pokemon as a gym leader? Well, you've come to the right place. This is Pokemon This Gym of Mine. The game where you get to play as a Pokemon gym leader yourself, of any type that you want. Now, I have done this a few times before, so go make sure to check those out. But today, I'm going to be the poison type Pokemon gym leader, with my starter choice being Nidoran male, Nidoran female, and Skorupi. These would all be amazing choices, but my heart wants a purple beast himself. Need a Ramel. Let's call you Tank. Reminds me of my first ever journey. We agreed by Mayor Dalton, and he explains that the old gym leader left the town for ruins. The thought of a new gym leader in town isn't very exciting for the townspeople. I need to change their mind and win the town over. We reach Jumble Town, and the mayor is waiting outside the gym. He guides us over to our new home. Here it is where I get my gym signature move, Poison. And jab, but I'm gonna explain signature move in just one second. Let's explore the wild. I have a very specific Pokemon I need on my team. Ghastly, how could I have a poison type gym without Gengar on my team? That would be silly. Well, I'm not gonna have Gengar, and that's a surprise I'm saving for later. Let's call you Shiver. Well, now that Shiver's on the team, let's go and see him at Dalton at the town hall. But some thug is blocking the entrance. He tells the townspeople to run me out of town as soon as possible, also calls me an idiot. Let's show this guy who's boss. Our first battle against the Rough Riders. We might be just a little bit overleveled. Tank proceeds to one-shot his Poochiana, and next up is Scraggy. Well, the same thing happens. Rough Riders defeated. We can finally see Mayor Dalton, and here the rules are explained. Rule number one, I have to use Pokemon that share my gym's typing. In this case, it's poison. I mean, that was an obvious one. Rule number two, Forget rule number one, because you're allowed up to two Pokemon that don't share the typing, as long as they have my gym signature move, which is Poison Jab this time. Rule number three, I can't lose a single battle. This is a hardcore mode, so one loss equals the end of resign. Before I start as a gym leader, I need to have three Pokemon on the team. I know just who to add. Timber. I love Generation 5, it's such a shame that we're not getting remakes. Well, Punch, welcome to the team. My first official gym challenge, Lass Ellen, with her level 3 Starly. You stand no chance, at least I won't lose on my first day, right? Flabebe up next, another one shot. Tank, really do be OP. Although the next gym challenger is much, much higher leveled, starting with a level 10 Hatina. Oh my god. Thankfully, I was strong enough to take that down easily, but next up is Hone Edge, so there's a high possibility of losing him right here, right now. Shiver tried to lick him to death, and that had zero chance of taking this beast out. No matter how many times he licked, Hone Edge refused to get paralyzed. Punch, it's your time to shine. Rock Throw did a decent amount, knocking it into the red. Tank, we can't lose here. Finally managing to take him down, Electric is up next. Get wrecked. I knew you'd clutch it up for me, Tank. We started this journey, we'll finish this journey together. Over the next three days, this trainer was the only one that had an interesting team. Starting with an Umbul Chincho, I love how this Pokemon looks. Thankfully, we're strong enough to take him out and his Golem too. I have a feeling this isn't the last time I'll see of this team. Mayor Dalton wants to talk to me. I wonder what I've done now. He wants to congratulate me for making the town seem more alive, although we were then rudely interrupted by Elizabeth, the strongest trainer in Umbletown. They want to challenge me to see if I'm really worth being called a gym leader. She was so close with the previous gym leader and doesn't want to be let down again. Standing outside by gym, let the battle commence. Leading right into the battle with Tank, I'm feeling really confident against this Clefairy, although she is the strongest trainer in the town. We luckily one-shot Clefairy quite easily, and Fampy is up next. I decide to stay in with Tank, and again, I'm feeling confident. Poison Jab poisons Fampy, and then I manage to take it down with one more Poison Jab until they healed up. They're going to continue to heal up so many times, it's pathetic. So I decide to heal up myself. Why not? Let's go in for more poison jabs and finally take this Fampy out. Goodbye, Fampy. I'll see you never. Gumi is up next, the dragon type. Luckily, it didn't have dragon rage and we take it down quite easily. 
Last but not least, Drifloon. Poison Jab does half its HP. Can we get another one off? Yes, we can. Tank solos the strongest trainer in Humble Town. Elizabeth, you stood no chance. After the battle, she does say, you know everything will be alright. I guess I was just overreacting. Although, she has got her eye on me, so we better stay tuned. Day 9, we have a challenger who's stolen his sister's Pokemon. I do not condone stealing, but let's battle anyway. Oh, it's just a Staravia. What happened to our other Pokemon? Let's take you down. Tank, eliminate him. Or don't. This battle was actually much harder than I thought, almost taking me down. Tank comes back out due to Whirlwind and luckily outspeeding getting Poison Jab, taking Staravia down. Finally, Tank is evolving and becoming even stronger now. Day 10. Tank is brutal. Every challenger that comes through this door has felt the wrath of Tank. Starting the day off with Curlia. Yep, a single Curlia. This was a very short battle. Straight after this was a scientist with an odd looking Aaron who actually saved me using Roar on Tank and got him out of there. A Pokemon who couldn't damage him. Bringing Punch, someone who's super effective against him out. And last but not least, Ricky. Well, we fought this guy before, let's just eliminate him like usual. Going on after training, Ghastly is evolving into Haunter. We are finally close to getting not Gengar on my team. Now you guys are going to see what that means shortly after, but not only did Shiver evolve into Haunter, we then got one more evolution coming up straight after. How can you not love Timber's evolution, Gerda? He becomes even stronger and carries around this metal beam that he likes to swing around and attack people. So, Gerda, welcome to the team. After getting home from a long day, someone's at my door. Ah, who could it be? It's Mayor Dalton letting me know that I have ranked up, slowly becoming as strong as a champion. But we are confronted by the Rough Riders, so things are definitely about to get tricky. These guys can be a handful and in battle they're not any easy pushovers. Starting off with a level 19 Scraggy, I'm quite over leveled here once again, tank eliminating Scraggy very quickly. Santru comes out, the same thing again. Santru, I don't think you stand much of a chance, although I didn't manage to take you out instantly. You go for rollout. Therefore poisoning yourself, I'm going to be able to take you out with Poison Jab slowly but surely. Next up you've got Heracross, now this Pokemon does definitely bring problems. Aerial Ace comes out, is it going to take out Tank? I have no idea. Super Potion, why are you healing up? You are the Rough Riders and you should be strong enough to take me out. But you like to use a lot of healables, so Poison Jab seems to be doing the job at the moment. Let's get one last Poison Jab taking out Heracross. And last but not least, Zora, the Dark type, level 21, got one shot by Tank, therefore making us victorious. We have defeated the Rough Riders and ranked up to rank 3. Now with rank 3 we can do quite a few things. The first thing I'm going to do is use my hard earned money to go and buy an Ice Stone. You may be thinking why an Ice Stone and a Moonstone. The Moonstone will allow me to get Nidoking which is very handy. But the Ice Stone is for something that is not Gengar. I'm going to show you what that is first because you guys all know Nidoking and that is boring. I can use the Ice Stone on Shiver, and that's why I've given it this name. Evolving into the custom regional version of Gengar called Wendigar, which looks incredible. I love this Pokemon. It is Ice and Poison type, so it still fits in with my team. And just look at how amazing it looks. I can just admire this all day, every day. Wendigar, you are on the team. I'm going to call you Shiver. I mean, your name's already Shiver, but you definitely deserve a slot on my team and you're going to be my ace. Now it's time to evolve Tank. My star, the Pokemon has been with me for the longest time ever. Nido King, here you come, and Nido King, here you are. You are definitely a tank. After finishing up the next few days at the gym, there is someone at my door. Who is it? Alright, let me out. We are in the hideout. 
of the Rough Riders. We are in their den. We need to escape their den and fight our way out. This is not going to be easy, but I did find a loophole. I can get unlimited soda pops from this lady right here, so I can heal up my Pokemon while I'm here. Let's escape by challenging this lady. Hopefully, there's not going to be any more Rough Riders, but Shiver, it's your time to shine. Shiver is broken, man. I did not expect you to be this powerful. Punch you as well. My team is looking tasty. Ain't no one gonna match against me. That lady went down fast in a sack of potatoes dropped from an aeroplane. But there are many, many, many more trainers. I'm gonna try and avoid them all, but it does not work. Here we are in the next battle against Mandibus. Luckily, we've got Shiver again with Icicle Crush just eliminating these guys one by one. Krokorok is up next. Now, I could go into Concord and take it out with Low Sleep, or I could stay in with Shiver and um, take it out with Icicle Crush even with my attack being down. This is how OP this Pokemon is. I don't think I'm gonna have to worry about anything. I should have known about this Pokemon when I had an Ice type team because yes, 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 he would have been straight on it. After taking out Scraggy, we then run straight into this other Rough Rider on the bike. Luckily, he's only got Haunch Crow, so hey, 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 nothing to worry about. Shiver can manhandle anyone. Shiver gonna go in with an Icicle Crush taking down Haunch Crow. We're feeling so confident. Punch is your time to shine. Crocorock comes out and you one shot it with Low Kick. I mean, let's use a kicking move on a Pokemon named Punch. Not really making sense, but here we are. Shiver, Icicle Crush one more time, taking out Golbat. Now we're on to a big and hard battle. This is against the double battle team, where they have Drodagon, Pawniard, Zoroark. They have so many Pokemon. And luckily, we have a Rock Slide move and Tank who can just set up toxic spikes allowing me to poison their entire team with ease so let's get that set up and start taking them out with rock slide crocorock comes out and gets poisoned star ravia you're gonna go down as well as crocorock this time who are they gonna send out now crobat and zoroark this is gonna be easy goodbye to zoroark and crobat is last but definitely not least it lasted quite a while but down you go as well. After we finally escape, we meet Mayor Dalton and the gym girl. They're saying that they was worried about me and the Rough Riders need to pay. Here comes the leader of them, Edgar. This is the first time meeting him and he's saying he never organized this and whoever did is gonna get a pummeling because that's not how he rolls. He plays fair and square even if he is part of a gang. We arise to gym at rank three and now we need six Pokemon and can go on vacation. So let's fill our team up, starting with Bulbasaur, one of the Pokemon I definitely needed on this team when I knew I was picking Poison type. How can I not have a Venusaur on this team? A possible chance to Mega, although this game don't have Megas which is unfortunate, but Bulbasaur I need you in the team so let's get you in. I'm struggling to weaken you as you're quite a low base stat Pokemon until you evolve. But we throw this Pokeball and finally capture you. Welcome to the team. What name should I give you? I feel like going for Saurus because you are kind of a dinosaur. Next up we went on vacation and found this Salandit. Luckily it was the first encounter and it was female. We didn't have to struggle and go and get this female Salandit. We got it first try. Managing to weaken it just enough so that I can capture you. So land it, stay in the Pokeball. I need you on my team now, and you have been caught. I'm gonna call you Slick, because I mean, this Pokemon is incredible. I love Salazzle. And last, but definitely not least, is Toxel, a Pokemon that took me forever to capture. Literally, this is sped up by 500 times, and it still took forever. Toxel, I'm gonna add you to the team, and welcome. Another day of pummeling people at the gym, we are challenged by Las Ellen, the first person that challenged me, and she's improved by quite a bit, having a Star Raptor on the team, also having Frostlass, what an addition to get on the team. I love Frostlass, if I could have a, one on my team, I definitely would. As she's taking out one of my Pokemon, so that just shows you how powerful it is. Next up is Florges, which isn't going to stand too much of a chance against me, but after this day, something interesting happened, so make sure to stay around. Edgar has sent us a letter. Go and battle him man to man. Whoever wins becomes leader of Umble Town. If I lose, I have to leave permanently and never come back. If he loses, he has to leave permanently and never come back. There's a lot at stake here. I can't lose this battle and 
one of my rules is if I lose, it's game over. So let's battle Edgar. He starts off with Agron. Okay, this isn't any Agron. This is going to be incredibly hard to battle. Agron is powerful. I'm going to set up a Toxic Spikes and probably go down with Tank. I'm not feeling very confident and yes, Tank goes down. Now I feel like Punch, you're my only hope to take out this Agron. Let's go in for a bulk up which is a little bit cheeky and let's go in for two. Just because I can, right? Low Kick gets it to Sturdy, he heals up. How many healables does this guy have? He's healed up Agron like five times. I cheekily go in for a bulk up and I almost lost. It's all good, it's all good. Agron is down, Metagross is up next. I stay in accidentally and go in for Rock Slide. It's not really going to benefit much, so let's try and heal up and see what we can do. Meteor Mash comes out, I go in for a low kick and die either way. So Metagross comes out supreme there. I feel like I can probably go in, I'm going to have a look at my team. Slick is up there, but I removed the fire type move. So let's paralyze Metagross with Shock. Shock, I don't expect him to be able to do much, but he actually does some big boy damage and takes out Metagross. What an unexpected turn. Shock coming in clutch. Now it's time for Shiver, my ace in the hole. The Pokemon that you guys have been waiting to see now in action. One shot Scarchomp, get out of here. You stand no chance. One shot Salamence, once again, you stand absolutely no chance. Hydreigon up next, almost one shot in it, but Hydreigon is a tanky boy. Let's leech life it because we can. Shiver is absolutely demonic. Tyranitar, it's your turn. Let's go in for Icicle Crush, flinch you, and take you out with a leech life. No one stands a goddamn chance against Shiver. So we have beaten Edgar and reigned supreme. Victory is mine. Goodbye, Edgar. The following day, we had a very interesting character come to visit me, saying don't go expecting to win this fight. But he does have a point. Hiker Pool comes when you are over leveled and has a level 70 Tyranitar to put an end to your run. I'm feeling really confident here because of my team. I've got an incredibly powerful team. Mega Horn misses and Giga Impact hits. Oh my god, we are off to a bad start if I say so myself. But I'm feeling confident. We go in for the Mega Horn one more time and hit it this time. And another. He does use Hyper Beam, but he didn't take into account the poison. Finishing him off, and we have defeated Hiker Pool. Now, he was a challenge for me though. I do feel like it was fun to see him. Then we go and talk to our gym girl who has a little quest for us. This quest involves looking for her long lost brother, someone she hasn't seen since she was young. But she wants to find him and we know where he is. He is joining the Rough Riders. I know me and Edgar have fought it out, but I need to do this for my gym girl. We take out my Tiana and Toxapex is up next. I could have got Toxapex on my team, now that would have been annoying. Yes, let's learn shift gear. My while you can be a pain in the backside. I don't really know how I'm going to take you out, but I'm going to wear you down with Shock. Shock's actually coming in clutch in these later battles. I didn't even realize how much I used him until editing this video. Now it's time to send in Slick. Slick couldn't actually damage this Pokemon in any possible way, so what a waste. Shiver is your time to shine. I know you will never let me down. Icicle Crush one shot in my while. Lantern, let's leech life you fully health and take you out once again. Hunch Crow, I can just leech life you to death again. No one can touch Shiver, honestly I'm too good. But we did complete the quest for Jim Gal, but unfortunately her brother didn't want to come back. Then we hear some commotion outside. He's standing outside the gym as we've got a crowd. This is the gym leader's champion. The champion of the entire region. He wants to battle me and he's feeling confident. He gave me a full revive and a max potion. What an incredible item to give me. Why not? So he's starting off with smell sticks and I start off with tank as usual. I don't really know what to do here. So I go in for a poison jab and don't realize that his Pokemon is a steel type. So punch is your time to shine. Let's go in for a cheeky bulk up and I almost lost him. We do take out the smell sticks quite nicely with low kick and Bisharp comes out. I'm going to go in for the full restore now. Why not use a healable? He gave it to me right and I can take out his Bisharp too. Gengar's coming out. What can I do against Gengar? I feel like Slick is my best option here so let's go in for Slick. And it done absolutely nothing. I got taken out very quickly. 
Hmm. I could send in shock and maybe get a paralysis off. That will come in clutch. Let's go in for a shift gear and be cocky. I go in for two. I shouldn't have done that, but I did. Spark takes out Gengar. Once again, shot coming in clutch. Haxorus comes out and almost gets one shot, but it wasn't Haxorus, it was Zoroark. Now we have Shiver, my ace in a hole, right? I can do anything with this boy. Level 57, let's just one shot the rest of the champion's team. Haxorus, you can get leech life even if I didn't mean to do it, and Icicle Crash to death. The champion has been taken out. We have grind been granted gym rank 6. Let's go rest up. But we do find this letter. A letter given to us by this random stranger who wants to battle at my gym. Starting off with Wigglytuff, I know nothing about this guy. He is a total stranger to me. What am I going to do against him? I'm going to start with tank, get them poison up and go in for punch. Punch I feel like could take out this guy's team. He's starting off with fairy and dragon and normal types, mainly being normal. Star Raps has solidified it for me, this guy is a normal type trainer. But why is he a mono type trainer in the world where you can be a gym leader? Maybe he is a gym leader himself and just wants to challenge me. Shiver comes out and literally annihilates everyone. Eevee is his final Pokemon and we managed to die. He actually took out Shiver. That is a surprise, but we still have Shock coming in clutch all the time. I mean, come on. Almost taking out Eevee, but the poison does. Now we find out who he is. He is the old gym leader of this town. And he got a letter saying if he don't leave, he will skip. everyone will be kidnapped and everyone he cares about will be harmed. That's why the gym leader left. So he didn't abandon the city. It all starting to make sense now. He was threatened. And we then head on to sleep as the usual night goes. But my first thought in the morning is head over to my gym, take on the challenges and get on with my day. This time was a little bit different. We head over to the gym and we can meet Sandy, where we rank up to gym at rank 7. We also got the same letter as the previous gym leader. They are demanding that we leave the city and abandon it. Do not tell anyone. We cannot make any choice. However, they're not worried. They know that the old gym leader was in town and they are threatening all my gym trainers. So we call the police. I mean, personally, I wouldn't have snitched, but here we are. Now all of my gym trainers have been kidnapped. I decided to ignore the letter. But everyone is saying that the police is covering anywhere other than the Badlands. We can't head to the Badlands as we're too weak. Gym leader resign, can you take the Badlands on? Of course I can. I head on to the Badlands and here it is, I meet Edgar. Edgar tells me that it's the mayor. The mayor is behind everything. He has kidnapped every single person and held them hostage. He's taken over the Rough Riders and is now the leader of the Rough Riders. He's taken down Edgar. Oh my god. What has he got to gain from this? Why is the mayor doing this? It makes no sense. All he wanted to do was become a gym trainer when he was younger. But let's fight the mayor. Dustclops versus Tank. I'm going to set up my Toxic Spikes, but he does use Curse. This Dustclops is incredibly tanky. What can I do against it? I have no clue. I'm going to... Like, it's, it's a tough decision for me to make, but I'm going to go in for Saurus. I feel like Leech Seed really helps me in all of these types of battles. When we struggle to fight a Pokemon, let's go for Leech Seed. Dusclops heals itself up and uses Curse again. What a scummy play. This is just not right. I feel like I can switch out maybe, or do I stay in it? I'm going to switch out into Shock. Shock can get him paralyzed at least, and maybe get off a Shift Gear. Yes, we got the paralysis and the shift gear, but we are confused. We managed to take out Dusclops and keep Shock in. Rhydon's up next. I probably should have switched, but I chose not to. Rhydon against Punch. Let's go in for a bulk up. I can go in for two. He has all the punching moves. Now it's Gudra. What can we do against Gudra? Rock Slide, taking it out. Dragonite comes out. Punch is coming in clutch. This battle is incredibly hard and Punch is soloing everyone. We've also got Shiver, but Shiver got one shot. My ace in a hole got one shot by Scizor. This was not planned or expected. Now, Aegislash, what can we even do against this Pokemon? I revive Saurus and go in for a Leech Sleeve. Luckily clutching up with a little bit of HP and it's time to heal up and play the long game. 
I don't even know what else we can do against this. I'm gonna go in for a shock and try to paralyze it. Perfect. Shiver, it's all down to you, my ace in the hole. But I'm not playing it like that. I'm gonna revive Saurus. If I'm lucky I did, because if I didn't, I would have been seriously damaged. Now we have to play the long game. Heal up, take out Aegis Slash, heal up and take out Aegis Slash as much as we can with our Leech Seed. I told you Saurus would come in clutch one day, I knew it would, and we have finally, finally taken down the mare and beaten this gym of mine as the poison type trainer. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to smash the like button and let me know in the comments down below what type of gym leader you'd want to be. It's a question I asked at the beginning of the video, it's a question I'm going to ask now. Enjoy the rest of your day guys.